How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lai Hobby Time. This week I built something that I've wanted to build for a while now. It's inspired by memories of playing The Force Unleashed. I haven't played the game in over 10 years now, but I very vividly remember one of the finishing moves you could do on an ATST was to jump in the air and cut it in half with your lightsaber. I always wanted to see Luke Skywalker or another Jedi do this in live action, but we haven't seen that yet. So I made a diorama about it. The first thing to do was to cut the ATST in half. I've been thinking about getting a bandsaw for a while now, but this seemed like the perfect excuse. I should have planned that out better before I started cutting it. I had to crawl around on the floor looking for the little turret that flew away. But I found it, and the cut turned out okay. The next step was to clean up all the cut edges, so I used an X-Acto knife and I scraped away all that excess. Once all the pieces were cleaned up, I used some plastic cement and super glue. I put the two halves together and made sure that they were nice and sturdy. As cool as it is, I do realize that cutting an ATST in half in one fell swoop is not very realistic. So we're going to say that Luke Skywalker made multiple passes. He first cut the bottom, then he jumped on the back and he stuck his lightsaber inside the head of the ATST. Then he did a somersault over the top and slashed down through the front to finish it off. That's far more realistic. I mean, I guess it's still Star Wars, so realistic is relative. Initially, when I had thought about doing this build, I wanted to have the cut lines on the inside of the ATST glowing. I tried a few different things and I couldn't get it to look right. So I ended up just painting it and I'm content with how it turned out. I may try it again in the future with lights. To build Luke, I went into Hero Forge and used the options that they had available to get as close as possible. The options are good, but they obviously don't have any of the intellectual property from Disney for Star Wars, so you have to think outside the box a little bit. I also went into Shaper 3D to build him a lightsaber. This is way more detailed than it needed to be at this scale but I figured I might as well have a digital file of Luke's lightsaber on hand for future use. The next step was to build the base for this diorama. I made a makeshift circle cutting jig for the hot wire table and I cut out some discs, began planning out the layout. Once I had visualized what I wanted it to look like, I cut out some thin pieces of foam to put on either side. These are going to kind of build up the banks of a dry creek. I also cut out some rocks. I printed the Luke Skywalker and I hot glued the terrain in place. Once I had all of that stuck in place, I sanded down the edges to create a nice consistent surface. The next step was to apply a seal to the foam. I did this using a combination of plaster, Mod Podge, paint, and water. It starts off really thin, 
and then thickens up as it dries, making it really nice and workable. I used a palette knife and my finger to create the texture I was looking for. When that was dry, I gave the rocks a wash of black and brown, as well as a dry brush of gray and tan to help bring out those highlights. Then I moved on to the rest of the scenery. For the lightsaber, I'm using one of these 3 volt LED filaments. This one is green. I will put a link to those in the description. Then I primed and painted Luke. Once Luke was painted, I glued the lightsaber in place, I connected it to some wires which I ran down behind his back, and through the base. Then painted the side of the diorama with black 3.0. The last thing to do was to glue Luke and the ATST in place. Applied a little bit more dusting with the airbrush. And I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great week. I will see you all next time.